My favorite parts of the steampunk world is the exaggeration and sci-fi aspects of like the Vernian science, the theorized Tesla applications, and kind of incorporating that stuff into fictional props and costuming aesthetics. My name is Tim Harrison, Oz McGinnis, or Oswin B. McGinnis in the steampunk world. I used to do a lot of fabrication and tinkering and whatnot when I was younger and decided I'm going to throw some things together for Halloween and ended up being a three month long project for a Halloween costume essentially and that's where these and the original gun kind of came along. heard about some other conventions, uh, specifically Teslacon and Madison. I had missed fabricating and tinkering and, and creating, and it kind of helped bring all that back in. I do some short story writing as well for character development and kind of incorporating all of that into a physicality and persona that I can kind of share and bring the character and these fake sci-fi props to life. This was one of the first things that I built. There was usually a switch that lives on my hand, but it got stuck in the car door. In actuality, it's just a fancied up um, lithium ion power pack, uh, cell phone batteries essentially. In the fictional universe, it's a, an etheric extraction reactor that kind of pulls the energy from the space and the air before they had some of the science backing of molecules and whatnot, and they actually called things the ether and the empty space and kind of harnesses that. This is the second iteration. There's a Mark I version that's a little bit smaller, a little different. The actual concepts behind it are pretty simple. When I'm doing my panels, one of the reasons why I wanted to put my panels together is a lot of people, I guess, are intimidated from just base electronic works. If you have a $10 soldering iron and some willingness to experiment, it's, it's pretty simple to even get basic lights and LEDs, be it pendants or some basic gun weaponry or things like that and just integrate that into your props and costume and aesthetic. So I was looking at these things and I didn't see it, understand why this was happening at first. And it's like, oh yeah, I'm using blah, blah. I was like, oh, you should try this out. It will make your life so much easier. Things that I pull from, aside from my imagination, the old Jules Verne stories, you know, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, the forethought of technology that he wrote about was just huge. And again, the, the fabled Tesla journals. Basic sci-fi, everything from Star Wars to Firefly to things like the Wild Wild West, old TV show, and then the movie. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, uh, the old movie. There's a lot of stuff like the vehicle, the boats. It's a lot of things that I guess I kind of just like to think about aside from the madness in my brain and uh, kind of combining that with just my love of sci-fi and the particular aesthetics with just the steam engine area, like pre-industrial area and things like that. Alone, unguarded, alone.